Hey everybody, it's Brian. I wanted to uh, touch base with everybody. I haven't made a video in a while. Um, today is the official launch of SocietyQuestClub.com. It's all one big word. It's probably the longest domain name ever, but SocietyQuestClub.com. It's a project that I've been working on for a oh, long time, months and months it feels like. Uh, working on this with a buddy of mine and the premise of this site is to spread good things throughout humanity, as cheesy as that might sound. But uh, you click a uh, new journey, it says, what are you waiting for? We're going to start our adventure. And you can either create an account the old fashioned way or you can just log in with Facebook. And, uh, you know, it's got your basic, you know, character sheet and things of that nature. But what Society Quest Club is at the heart is a quest based system that takes place in real life. Now, what does that mean? Um, it means you can go out and you can choose from different quests. For example, you can volunteer in an animal shelter or you can, you know, tell a soldier thank you, you know, something like that. Now you notice each quest has a cost. And this is not real money, this is virtual money, this is gold, quotey fingers gold. When you complete a quest, you get experience and gold. And you can see down here the rewards. If you complete the quest and give a written description, well we'll just actually, you know, add the quest here. You just give a written description, you're going to get zero gold, meaning you won't be able to buy more quests, but you'll get the experience, and you can level up as you go. Now, if you give an image and a description, you get two times rewards, so you're going to get 10 gold and 450 experience. If you do a video and a description, you're going to get three times rewards, so we're really encouraging people to, you know, videotape and photograph, you know, their, their charitable events. You know, I'm not encouraging you to go out and snap a selfie with every homeless person you walk by, but... You know, definitely, you know, record what you're doing, and when you're done, you complete the quest, and you can either upload an image or link a YouTube video, and there's some basic instructions on how to do that, and you have to give it a description, like, uh, I did it, and be more descriptive than that, because, well, you know, we're going to actually go out and review these things. You see how it's in a pending state. An actual live human being, myself or my friend, are going to actually go out and review. We're going to watch your videos, we're going to look at your pictures, and we're going to see, you know, are you actually doing this? And then we'll give the rewards. Um, and, you know, if you go out of your way, I'm like, if you feed like an entire neighborhood, we're going to give you way more rewards than just two or three times experience. Um, you can also create guilds. And you create your own guild, you can browse guilds, you can view your guild, you can view your memberships. It's very simple, very easy. Um, you know, pardon the graphics, these are open beta right now. We got to go through and do a complete overhaul in the graphics system. But you can choose a guild tab or give it a name, city, you know, a state, a country, zip code. And what we're going to do in the future is we're going to make it so that um, you can find guilds and like-minded people in your area. And that you can actually have guilds go out and get like a guild quest, like an entire guild or a church or nonprofit group can go out and do an event and you all get, you know, experience and rewards and etc. And I personally like the concept of doing like uh, guild competitions. So like if you're like... Uh, a nonprofit or a church, you can challenge another nonprofit or a church and then see which one does better, and it's kind of a winner take all sort of situation. But uh, you notice how on the bottom of every page is this little make a suggestion button. Let's see, it's on bo yeah, bottom of every single page. If you see something that doesn't look right or is misleading or, you know, like there, this is missing a period, you can just, you just make a suggestion. Just let us know. And these come straight to my inbox and to my friend's inbox. And we read these and we take a lot of the suggestions to heart. Um, this has been in very closed beta. We really haven't talked to anybody about it. So this is kind of our public unveiling. Um, we're hoping to get a lot of traction, a lot of momentum. Um, this is free of charge, I might add. It doesn't cost a dime. Um, the premise of this is just to encourage people to do good things. So, um, as always with all my side projects, I really look forward to your feedback. Um, well, technically, this may not appear on the surface to be a very large project. Um, socially, this is a massive project. It's going to be on massive scale, so it's one of the bigger undertakings that I've done. So I'm really looking forward to a lot of solid feedback um, from programmers and non-programmers alike. And if you're looking to help, I mean, we're always... We're always looking for more people, but I have to preface that with um, we're very, very careful about who we're selecting right now because it is in you know the beta stages. But we're going to be looking at doing a mobile app like an iPhone app and an Android app, and we're going to be looking for somebody who has more time and skill than I have to do like the actual graphic design of the site. Um, so you know just. If you would, make an account and, you know, help us test this thing. Make a guild, invite your friends, do a couple quests, see how it works. 
um, just understand that this is beta so things will change and uh, you can always click contact and it goes directly to our inbox so um, other than that down here there's the like and share if you wouldn't mind you know like and share and help us spread the word that's it thanks for watching